Hello everybody and welcome to a new series on the channel, Solar Gene. And we've had a little bit of a dabble with this earlier on with one of the earlier versions of the game. And I think now's the time we can actually start playing a full campaign. It seems to be a little bit more stable these days with the updates. So we're going to risk it. We're going to go from the cradle, which is basically, you completely start with, start with basically absolutely nothing whatsoever. And you've got to basically complete all your tasks and get into space all by yourself. So uh, I think that's a good start for us. So let's go ahead and let's go for Rugged Industries. That's who we're going to play as in this. Okay, so there we have it. There's the Earth and there's the Moon not far away from Earth in terms of this image anyway. But as we all know, that is quite some distance away. I want to skip the tutorial and we're going to try and find things out for ourselves. So this may not be 100%, but we'll see what we can do. And hopefully we'll be able to manage to uh, do most of the stuff that we want to do. Yes. So, first of all, let's get our new station. But we need some credits to be able to launch in. Okay, so, let's have a look at what missions we have. Um, we really want to do an establish a colony mission, which gives us most credits. But we need the most time possible to do it. Uh, so, let's have a look and see what we've got. Uh, 49 million. Uh, yeah, 49 million. That ends in July. 35 ends in June. 27. Watch there. 59 ends in July. I think that might be the best one, I think. Yeah. Just slightly. I think it's like a week earlier. We'll go for this one here. So, the reason why I'm doing that is because obviously it gives us the most credits to be able to start what we want to do. And the task for today is to hopefully get a few. Uh, stations up into space and complete some missions to earn back some of the credits that we want to do now my first station that i want to build is going to be for my research purposes so that everything we do is going to basically start off our research cycle so that by the time we start going to start a colony uh, obviously this one's just established a colony on the moon so it's only a moon colony um we're going to be well on our way to be able to get that done so without further ado let's launch just a ship into the orbit now obviously this is quite expensive at the moment because we haven't done much research but let's go for the cheapest one there's our first station in orbit there i'm going to launch a second station i'm going to put it on a slightly different axis so it doesn't crash into it there we go so we've got two stations now one that i'm going to have permanently up there and one that i'm going to launch onto the moon however i also want to complete a build a ship one of these to earn some extra credits so let's have a look and see what we've got here uh, 11 million for nine members i want to try and go as few members at first uh six million for six members that's probably a good start for japan let's go ahead and launch that one so uh, sorry that i accept that mission should i say so before i do anything what i'm going to do is, is this is the second ship so this second ship here that we've launched is going to be our lunar 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 yep call it lunar ship for now because it's not actually in lunar orbit okay our next one here we're going to call this our rugged industries rugged apparently i can't take off the jj that's that's fun rugged industries earth Orbit ISS. International Space Station, because we want it to be international, so uh, I think it's going to be fun to do that. Right. Now we need our ship for Japan. And we're going to launch our third station. And that ship's moved, that is moved away enough now, so we're going to launch that there. It's just on a slightly similar uh, angle to our other station, but it's behind us, so we're fine. I'm going to rename this as the Japan Contract Ship. I don't know which one it is. I have no idea where it's just gone. Well, for some reason, well. Okay, so we've got three ships. We want a lunar ship to start heading off towards the moon as soon as possible. So let's uh, 
let's go to our ISS first. Because this is basically going to be our staging point for everything. Because everything we're going to order, we're going to place onto this station. So this station holds all of the resources and all of the research. Uh, you get these little basic modules. You get them for all of your stations. So it's the same one for every one of them. Uh, so let's make some slight changes to this one. Um, I'm not too worried about the thruster pack. So let's uh, remove our thruster pack. There we go. Um, I want to remove some of these components as well because I want to basically redesign this station. But we're going to need some, we're going to need some resources before we can do that because if we start doing this, we're going to struggle. Uh, so let's uh, let's buy some resources first. Let's go ahead and I want. I probably want two hundred of these. These, these. Uh, we'll get some motors as well. Uh, we're gonna need some energy cells. Uh, some glass um, and some electronics i think that should do us a lot of credits spent right there um now because of that obviously any water or oxygen that i'm going to have is going to go into this little tank here these are our batteries here this is our little storage container which obviously houses all of our storage there we go you can see it's got all, all of our little storage containers in. We've got basic storage containers in at the moment, so there's not really much we can do. And then our four energy cells. These are little uh, energy suppliers. And then our little docking port here with the airlock attached to it. Now, these the way these are built is when you build one, it builds like a little layer above. At least like a little gap between. And you can't build in them gaps. What I want to do... Is I basically want to build a docking system underneath. Then I'm going to try and build this kind of storage stuff also underneath. And then we're going to build all of our living quarters above. That's the aim for this. That's what we're going to aim for. So let's release it. Let's get our shuttles over to here. And then let's see what we can do in terms of actually making something of this. Um... There's our little ship. We should have most of our components for us. So we could do another fixed technical station. And we can obviously increase our access as well. Let's go ahead and fix a technical station, which allows us a second port here. We're going to build another one. Like so. And then what I'm going to do is, that's already connected like that, so I'm going to leave that as is. But I'm going to then, some more shuttle components here. I'm going to basically set it, and accept four, and that, that's, can't be blocked by, can't block the airlock or the engine. Not sure why that one's not allowing me. Let's see if we can accept and. And let's just uh, try and remove this section first and adding this on. There go. Then that. I don't know why that was that, but there you go. So, we've got four docking platforms now for our ships to dock underneath our station. I'm now going to build. Uh, we're going to need some stuff for our batteries as well. Go ahead and build. I'll build on the stating side of the station. I don't want to build here. There we go. You see, we can't also build underneath either. I'm going to build these here because I'm hoping I'm going to be able to replace this and put it onto uh, the sections later. We've got some more energy storage. So let's let's pump up these. We've got plenty of energy production. Need some more energy storage actually sorry no way around go because remember this is our main station so we we don't want to be lacking on anything on this whilst we're trying to work on our other stations we've still got five days for our our earliest task and we definitely need the lunar ship to be launched sooner rather than later because that's going to somehow get to uh moon right 
so we're going to need some components here and these are going to be expensive i'm afraid so uh, let's do 100 of you and 100 of you uh, we're going to definitely need some more components here well let's get a thousand of you so that we can store stuff i think we're going to need more Matter of fact, if we clear this, clear that, don't want that, zero that for now. It's going to cost us more in shuttles, but it'll be fine. I'm going to add all them to cart. And if I go to my buy option, it's got more ready for me. So that's going to bring some stuff for my batteries, hopefully. As you can see, we're now taking more than one station at once. Uh, one, more than one shuttle at once. We're taking three. And this is going to allow for a lot of the traffic that we're going to have from this station to other stations. So that's why we want it with plenty of docking ports on it. It does look pretty cool when you've got four docking ports. I'm actually not sure if that top docking port will actually do anything. But I think it's going to be in the way of the bottom one. Well, if it is, it is. Okay, we are completely full, so let's get the habitat module, and we're going to do the basic module for now. This gives us a three connector. So that's just wiped out all of our resources. We want to build some more batteries, so let's go ahead and place some more batteries. I'm going to place as many as I can, if I can get it to link. There we go. Uh, apparently only one battery, because we haven't got enough components there. Let's go ahead and get 500 more of these. Gotta be careful because we still haven't got much in the way of space. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build uh, like a. It's, it's gonna basically be a three by three pod on each of these. Um, because this is gonna be my small station. We're gonna build a larger station later down the line when we've got plenty of resources coming in. But right now we need. Uh, smaller resources, uh, smaller stations to compensate for our smaller resource supply that we have. Okay, let's get that docked. And it offload its supplies. Okay, we can build two more batteries. And as you can see, we can't actually build this on a rotating section of the ship. Um, we can't install them near the doors, but we could replace this section here if we wanted to, which is probably what I'm going to do, because then I can build a connector here and have the four ships just purely underneath and then all of the stuff underneath here, um, which we'll have a look at, because uh, I think we can technically build a hallway. Yeah, we can. We can build a hallway, but we could do something there. Uh, right. Right. Talking of hallways, let's get our hallway up here. Uh, I want to do research, obviously. So let's change this over to labs. Search. It'll be a nice big research like section. Then I'm going to build it as a 3x3 pod. Now this is going to be really expensive. Um, we're going to need a lot more resources, um, so let's just uh, let's just do a mass order of resources. Uh, we're going to need oxygen, so let's get two thousand oxygen in. Um, thousand components. I, I want to be careful with how many components I'm ordering at the moment because we just do not have the space. Um, search. You'll see if we look inside here, this will probably be. Um, and dissect. There we go. So that's how we're going to have it, where it's three layers, like so. Obviously, this means that the doors are going to be um, inaccessible for us. But it's fine because we're going to do that. Then we're going to build it downwards. Um, unfortunately, I can't really do much about the other two doors. So this top layer here is going to be basically. Um, yeah, we'll figure something out for this, but it's going to basically be a way for us to get down. 
Uh, so that probably means that this whole layer here will remain up, and then this here will be the two la So that'll be like a ladder there. A ladder there, possibly. I don't know, we'll see. It's going to take up some space for the ladders, but we'll be fine. Alright, let's... Uh, should have our ships coming in with our resources. Let's get them docked. There we go. There's the third shuttle coming in. Alright, we've got some more resources. Right. Let's continue our science. Not enough materials. Well, that third ship should be giving us the bulbs that we need. Thank you. Nice big research lab. There we go, finished construction. Let's head into our research lab. So as you can see, it's kind of done an open area for us here. So let's let's see if we can get um let's see what we can do. Have I got no access to not that they are. They were there. Um so yeah, as you can see realistically we're gonna want uh why did I just go that turn that way? Want that there, an, an interior level there, and it lets me go. Then going to want another ladder. The problem is, is they build the ladders in a weird way. I'm not sure why it does that. So, yeah, should hopefully be able to get a ladder in. And then we can build our top tier round ladders. Yep. We've now got our way up and down, and we've got some room to do stuff. As I say, it's not the best thing in the world, but it just gives us a little bit of room um, for any tall components underneath and stuff like that. I mean, I know the research lab doesn't really have tall components, but I want these 3x3 three three pods because they look kind of cool. Right, go ahead and pause for a second. Let's have a look at what we can do for research. So we're going to need some resources here, but we're going to need some basic resources. So we're going to need some copper cable, let's try some cable and some polymer. So let's order our cable and polymer. Now this is this is costing us an absolute fortune um, in terms of our starting money because we're sending ships up and down, which is costing us a lot of money at the moment. Um, we're also going to need polymer. Right, so it costs us fifty thousand just for the shuttle, and then it's only ten thousand roughly for the components. So we got living that's going to be here. We've got research here, and this is going to be our storage here. So I'm going to go ahead and go warehouse again. Exact same concept. It's going to be a three by three. Now, as this is, um, it's not, pretend, you know, it's, it doesn't need to be accessible as it's a storage container. And in my eyes, it's going to be basically zero G. It's not zero G. We know it's not zero G, but it is. Um, now, for now, all of the components that I can think of for the next few levels is only one high. So I'm going to layer these off. So. Um, I'm going to leave a little gap that theory ethically they will drop down here in zero G just so it kind of looks cool then I'm going to get some components now we've got some basic components at the moment that's all we have so I'm just going to basically layer this in with basic components and then we'll replace them later some new components 
We don't need anything major right now. Just to keep us going. As I say, we're, we're going to redo all of this once we've done some research into nanotech. But we just want to make it so that we can gather resources and not worry about our space. Seeing we're only taking small orders at the moment and filling up quite quickly. That'll do us for now for storage. So we've got two modules already complete on our space station. Looks chunky already. Does look kind of cool though. Uh, now we just need our third one up and running. Uh, we're apparently still full on store. Oh no, because we haven't released it. Go. Right, let's now get our living quarters for our members of staff. Now, this is the only downside that I've come across is that I can't get my living quarters to be a 3x3. Three three. Because obviously there's no way for them to then basically get down. Um, and the only way for me to do that is if I basically release this here. So this will only be a small pod. I'm not too worried about. Because we can use the bottom section of this later down the line for things like storage or whatever it is we decide to do. Um, so yeah, I think, I think that sets us up pretty much where I want to be. A couple of things we need to do. There's a couple of things I need to squeeze into this hallway. So let's go ahead and get our hallway. Let's get our interior doors. I can see where the interior doors are. Let's put the wrong doors in. I only want the small doors. Okay, so let's just remove them. Put the small doors in. Go. Finish construction. I'm going to try and place. See, we can only do seating for a couple. Rotate that round there. And hopefully we can get a vending machine. Oh, we've not got enough resources. Let's go ahead and put some more resources. Let's go ahead and get 500 of you. Now start getting some large, large amounts of resources so we can at least save on the cost of flying up here. And also it means that we also don't have to rely on these resources actually being in stock. So if we have any issues where they go out of stock, we'll be covered. Or at least we should be anyway. Rations. Um, we're going to need some ice and water at a later stage, but that's going to be for my industrial section, which I'm not too worried about. Um, that will come into play in the next episode. Um, go ahead and set four. Oh, we haven't got really much for oxygen at the moment. That's a different supply. I think that'll do us. Oh, we need polymer. Go ahead and set a thousand polymer for now. All right, let's get them resources in. Uh, so we've got two seating areas for uh crew. The only thing we don't have here that I definitely do need to have is um some sort of uh medical. Because obviously, as it stands at the moment, if we have a medical emergency, then we've got a problem. So what we can do is, we could look into our research section. is isn't dissecting properly, which is slightly annoying. We could replace this section of the medic this section here with medical. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove this here, and I'm going to remove this here. I'm going to change it over. We're going to put medical in. Like so. Now we've got a little medical bay. We've still got plenty of research as well. Let's see if we can stock up our medical bay. Uh, we can't at the moment. We need, again, polymer. That gives us a spare bed. We're also going to need polymer for our apartments. Let's, uh, let's release because it's going to wait forever for us. So, yeah, now we don't need this amount of storage, but I've just got it so I've got it placed. Um, 
I may actually retcon that at a later stage, and as I say, put it underneath the apartments. But there are certain things we can do. Um, we can't obviously put it on rotating sections. Uh, we can't put the storage on rotating sections. We can't put anything like thrusters or anything like that. So the only thing we can put on is this stuff here. However, we're going to need computers. So again, that's another thing we can put underneath. And since this is my research station, we could actually put a nice big server room here. Like so. Because again, we don't need any requirements to access the server room. And again, we can place walls in it. Flooring in it even. And this is a completely secured area. So this is going to be like a, no, this is secured and, you know, no, no people allowed in it. Right. Whilst we're here, let's get some beds in. Uh, now, this is going to be, we're going to have basic bedding at the moment because this is, as I say, going to be our early station. And we will be building a bigger station at a later stage. Go. Place another one. Yeah. But we still want a bathroom, I think, in each bedroom. It doesn't actually make any difference, but... Uh, that's... Bathroom. It means that we've got bathrooms in our components. We've got one. One. Two. Right. We're on the other side. Just so it gives a little bit of a, a we know it's there kind of thing. I can't see and that's annoying. Segmenting of the walls are being a little bit annoying today. There we go. So six six apartments ready to go. Um storage ready to go. Research is our next thing. Um we still don't have Oh, yeah, we do. Rotate the research through. Right, so. We're going to place our research stations underneath. This is where our most space is. So let's go ahead and place. So what I want to do is I want to gain access to it quite easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically place them here like so. Annoying. Hopefully, as they come down there, they'll have access to them. And we'll have another couple underneath. This is planning for the future. Fuel, there's no fuel, so we can't launch anything at the moment in terms of our own stations. Uh, now, we're going to need some of these here because these also are required. They're the cheaper ones. So again, I'm gonna try and place things as best I can. Wall. Look kind of cool. We don't want boring, so I am gonna mix them around a bit. Place one of these. Wall, I think. Look. works but we are speeding ridiculously though so let's use that um let's go ahead and place some more on this side here i do this go There. One there. Yeah. Right, so that's some research sorted. That's basic research at the moment. There's a lot that we still need to add to this because this is way too small uh, for the four desks that we've got. But it gives us what we need. Our medical bay. Which at the moment we're only going to have a small number of staff, so let's go ahead and place the medical bay 
for right there. Um, uh, we need a bed in there? We'll place a medical bed in. I don't think we need one, but we've got one. Um, do we need a medical cabinet? And that might actually stop us from being able to move around, but we'll try it, we'll try it. It's a blocking space. That might stop them from being able to get in. See, if I put it in the right way. Oh, nice, that looks good. Oh, I see, because he's put all like the wall shit on there as well. Or at least it just happens to have fallen into a good spot. So it looks kind of cool. Right. So there we go. So medical research. We've got storage and we've got apartments and a server room. So the server room is the last thing that we need to put servers into. See? Just rotate it around. Let's get our bottom section. So we can have computer consoles, which are going to be completely useless to us. Or we can just basically put servers in. And I'm going to place servers in because it makes more sense to put servers in. Well, let's go ahead and place some more servers in here. Again, this is probably going to need to be humongous. I'm not worried about the wall intersection there because we can't really see it. Once all of the servers are up, it just looks like a wall of power banks. This is going to demand a lot of power from our uh, systems. So we're going to still need more in terms of power. I get another one in there. Put it down. Go. Yeah, plenty of server power in here. And then from there, we need to obviously adjust our electronics. Our electronic requirements, I should say. Right, that'll do us for now. We've got our apartments, we've got our servers, we've got our storage, we've got everything else. We need more power. As you can see, we've got a power warning already. So let's go ahead and create some more battery banks. Now, this would probably be a good time to actually go, well, you know, this here is useless to us. Let's, uh, let's see if we can build off the back of this. Let's just rotate me around. There we go. That I want to run. Go. Let's go hallway. So I'm going to see if I can build hallways all the way along here. And from there, we can go battery banks. Banks. Not enough materials, that's fine. Gaseous. Requirements. Go. Oh, that was kind of cool. Obviously, our battery banks are going to go inside there as well. We're going to probably need more than that. But at least I know what I'm doing. We're then going to need some actual. All of cells. A little bit fiddly trying to get solar cells to actually connect. How many did I put on there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. One, four. Five. There we go. Then we can now remove this lower section. I'll actually get the the, uh, the resources back from. What I've just removed. So fill it in. have to have this free you have to free this area before deleting the block oh yes because it's got components inside it that's fine right, let's uh inside here about all of these 
Keeping an eye out on our storage capacity. We're already oh yes, we're we're struggling there. Let's uh let's go back to our storage. More storage in here. Again, it's just a temporary, so we'll just throw them in. Five. Do a few more extra ones. Yep. How's our storage looking now? Much, much better. But this is already looking like a really nice station for me. Remove that now. And then replace this with a new docking port. Move this port here. Let's me. Round so it let me bump. A little bit fiddly there. That section. Right. It hasn't added this on. Can only be placed from only be placed from the side of the outer door of the airlock. Is the outer door of the airlock. Not quite sure why that's not allowing me to place it there. Got a wrong door on it, maybe. Nope. Quite sure why it's not allowing me to that we'll uh we'll revisit that at a later stage i'm not too worried if it's only three i'd prefer four if it's only going to give us three it's only going to give us three it's definitely not built it on so that is the outer airlock door hmm. strange one Can't block the airlock or the engine. Oh, I wonder if it's because technically the engines would be there, or is that actually being the airlock? That could be why. And I don't think it's going to let us build one underneath. Let's just give it a go. No, it's going to build it on top. Um, yeah, well, uh, the only downside is, is we can't go down, we can only go up. But that's fine, right? So, our first station is complete. The only thing we need now to finish it off is my vending machine. Help, oh, vending machine, and then we're going to place another couple of chairs. Just so that our astronauts are happy. Place one here. I just need one more chair. I'm hoping I can see inside here. Thank you. Get away with placing a chair here. Open. It'll only be placed here. Right, that should be fine. Just in an emergency. Right, so. Now we need people. As far as I can tell, we've got plenty of capacity. Oh, the only last thing we haven't done was replace these battery packs, wasn't it? Beneath here. Now we can place our last gas node. Looking pretty awesome. And I'm wondering if we can go the opposite way now that we've blocked that off, which we'll give it a go. Well, there we have it. That is our first station built and ready to go. It looks pretty sweet. And the best thing is, is we can set it off spinning.
in all of its glory. So that's going to be us for this episode. We've got our new station up and ready and operational. We're going to bring in our new crew to start our research in the same thing we're going to do research missions. So we've got runner research for a bio repository, which if we have a look in our research, it's one of our earlier ones. There it is, bio repository. So we can complete some research tasks, which is going to give us some credits as well. You can see we've got nanobots, large size carbon nano constructors. So we're not going to squander these opportunities. Um, we are going to have to try and do as many of them as possible because we've got basically two days to complete all of these. So we're going to need our crew up as soon as possible. To get the research going, which generates us more credits, which brings us back to the amount of credits that we borrowed in the first place. But if worst comes to worst, we can't get the... Uh, the colony built for the indians we might be able to um pay it back basically so that's the that's the challenge that we've got so currently india has the uh, requirement for that colony so hopefully we can do it for them if not we can pay it back and we'll not lose reputation from them so that's the challenge but that's it for now until next time everybody take care for now and i shall see you all on the next one bye bye for now